London System, 3, C54.E3. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed Black in that one. The opening was balanced. White overpowered Black in the middle game. The Reedy is a less common but flexible opening that controls the center with the knight before committing a pawn. D5 occupies the center and controls the E4 and C4 squares. The D4 square controls the E5 and C5 squares and establishes a solid center. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. The dark squared bishop becomes an active diagonal with influence over the center after Bf4. C5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and prepares to develop the knight behind the c pawn. E3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop to develop. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This offers an equal trade of pieces. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This develops a rook off its starting square getting it into the action. It is the last book move. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. Backs off. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. As a result, the bishop may now control more squares because it is in a better position. That's good. The game was close to balanced, but now black is worse. It is an inaccuracy. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. That's good. This gives the adversary the chance to win a tempo by posing a rook threat. It is incorrect. This attacks a rook, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is best. This deters an assault on a rook that is exposed. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to centralize a knight so it controls more squares. This permits the opponent to kick a bishop. It is an inaccuracy. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. The game was close to equal, but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This wins time by threatening a bishop and forcing it to retreat away. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to safety. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. It is best. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a rook. It is an inaccuracy. This exposes an attack, threatening a rook. It is good. This is an equal trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends the attacked rook. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This causes material loss. This enables the adversary to exchange blows. It is a mistake. This forks multiple pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Smooth one player took the advantage and never let go. White really outplayed black in that one. The opening was balanced. 
white overpowered black in the middle game. 